welcome to WUTV's 8 o'clock movie. Tonight, Lee Horsley and Kathleen Baller star in The Sword and the Sorcerer. Tonight's movie, The Sword and the Sorcerer, is an action-adventure set in the Middle Ages, and it features some hair-raising special effects. Lee Horsley, mm -mm, TV's Matt Houston and a Tom Selleck look-alike, stars in this sword-swinging saga. Say that three times real fast. He's joined by Kathleen Beller and George Meharis. So if you're into the Conan-type stuff, and this is the picture for you, tonight, The Sword and the Sorcerer, parental guidance is advised. Now, Lee Horsley was supposed to give Tom Selleck a run for his money when he was cast as the macho man, Houston, in the TV series. And that aired from 1982 to 85, and it airs right here on Channel 29 on Sundays at 4 o'clock. Lee was born in Texas, and he was raised in the wide open spaces of Colorado, and he loved acting and singing, and upon graduation from college, well, he headed for New York. And uh, he got a start there, but he wasn't too successful, and after a period of struggle, he flew to L.A., to test for the Gangster Chronicles, but lost out. Instead, though, he won the role of Archie in Nero Wolf, which was the uh, William Conrad vehicle for television. It wasn't until 1982 and the movie that you're watching tonight that he gained enough notoriety to square off as Tom Selleck's competition on the series, Matt Houston. Born in 1928, George Meharis made his film debut in Exodus in 1960. That same year, he was cast in a new television show that would become extremely popular for viewers until 1964. It was called Route 66. Do you remember that one? And it followed the adventures of two guys tooling around the country in a 1960 Corvette, and it was filmed on location around the U.S. Now, Meharis played the part of Buzz Murdoch opposite Martin Milner's Todd Stiles. But George only lasted two years and was succeeded by Glenn Corbett. Meharis continued his film career and made a good number of made-for-television movies like Rich Man, Poor Man, Death Flight, and Return to Fantasy Island. Intermission, the show that asks, how much do you really know about the silver screen? This intermission brought to you by Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion. This notorious Hollywood leading man is best known for portraying characters on the wrong side of the law. Yet, in colors, he plays a cop. Do you recognize him? On our 10-point scale, this question has a difficulty rating of 6. Sometimes your skin gets so dry, you can scratch the word dry right on your hand. And the drier your skin, the more you need Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion. It soothes and starts healing dry skin on contact. That's today's Vaseline Intensive Care. Jeff Corey, one of our supporting players in The Sword and the Sorcerer, was born in New York City in 1914, and he's been associated with films since the early 1940s. Now, this gaunt, worried-looking actor was a victim of political blacklisting in the 50s and was unable to find roles for a period of time. So he went in and founded a school for acting and became one of Hollywood's leading acting coaches. And he's been busy on television as a director for such series as The Night Gallery, Police Story, and The Bob Newhart Show. Kathleen Beller can be distinguished for her various TV and movie roles, but I find it very interesting that she and I have the same birthday, February 10th. I will not tell you the year. The Sword and the Sorcerer met mixed reviews when it was released in 1982. It did, however, become a springboard for Lee Horsley's TV career. Shortly after, he received the leading role in Matt Houston, and the rest is history. Now, talk about history. Cat People was a prime example of the low-budget horror movies of the 40s, and tomorrow we'll present the update of that classic film starring Nastasia Kinski. Till then, I'm Susan Mackay. Good night. Tomorrow on WUTV's 8 o'clock movie, Nastasia Kinski and Malcolm McDowell star in Cat People.